What is going on shrimp keepers? This is Rob with FlipAquatics.com and today we are going to talk about keeping baby shrimp alive also known as shrimplets and we're going to talk about some ways that you can improve your shrimplet survival rate. So there's quite a few products we're going to be using today but the first step in ensuring that your baby shrimp are going to survive is having the right setup. So make sure you have the correct parameters, make sure you have the correct temperature, make sure your TDS is right. You want to have consistency. Baby shrimp to absolutely thrive, and shrimp in general, is they need a consistent environment. In this 480 gallon, I believe we set it up in the beginning of November. It is now May, towards the end of May, and we have yet to do a water change on this tank. Now that comes down to proper planning, proper maintenance, and ensuring that you're topping off the tank that you are adding the proper minerals and everything back into the tank by fertilizer or by um, foods or proper mineral supplements, things like that to ensure that your tank is stable. So again, we have not done a water change on this tank since November of 2018. It is now May of 2019 and this tank is absolutely thriving. And I don't want to encourage people not to do water changes, but what I do want to encourage people to do is do your research. So this tank took a lot of planning, it took a lot of execution, um, and everything we do on this was well thought out way in advance. So if you want to have the survival rate we've had and the success we've had, it all comes down to consistency and doing your homework. So make sure you're setting up the proper tank for the shrimp that you're getting, and that's how you're really going to ensure that the baby shrimp have a chance to live. But there's more that you can do, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. The first product I want to talk about today that is really, really going to give you a great shot at increasing your baby shrimp survival rate and ensuring that they all live is Bacter AE. This is a product that we've used for many, many years, I would say about six years at this point, and it has really changed the hobby for us and has helped us ensure that our breeding is just staying up to par and that our baby shrimp are surviving and we're giving them the best shot at staying alive. Staying alive. Staying alive, ooh, 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 ooh. staying alive. Now there are two methods for feeding Bacteria E. The first and easiest is this one. All we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little scoop. Uh, this comes in every container of Bacteria E and you're literally just gonna to spread it on the top. Now when you're feeding this for the first time, it's always good to start with less than instructed. And so this is a 480 gallon tank. We're doing one even spoonful and on a full feeding day, I would do two spoonfuls. So make sure to divide that correctly and apply it to your tank as needed. Now the problem that we're running into is the Bactra E is just sitting at the top of the surface. Now we actually have overflows on this tank, so that creates a problem that the Bactra E will eventually make its way down to the sump. In this case, we have shrimp in the sump, so that's not a big issue, and this is, ensures that it will spread all throughout the tank, but we do have another method that we're gonna show you with the baby shrimp food. So Bacter E is by far our number one product for increasing baby shrimp survival rate. But this is another great option. This is baby shrimp food from Glass Garden. And all we're gonna do with this one, we're gonna use the other method. And what we're gonna do is fill this up with a little bit of water, add the baby shrimp food to it, mix it up, and then dump it into the tank. So let's do that. Since we already fed Bacter E today, we're only gonna do a quarter of a scoop of this food. What we do is we just use the bottom side of our net to mix it up in the water. net make sure it all comes off now we're actually gonna put this right on our jet our outflow for our pump and what that's gonna do is it's gonna feed our bamboo shrimp in this tank and it's also gonna feed the baby shrimp but the bamboo shrimp are the one we're focusing on with this food as you can see all of our bamboo shrimp kind of gather up in the one place where there's the most flow and so what we do is we just dump this food onto the jet and it blows right at them so you're gonna start seeing that right now We'll wait a little bit, let them catch some food, and then add the rest in. Now we try to feed these guys specifically two to three times a week, just to ensure that they're getting enough food, um, they're well fed, they're growing well, everything like that. And by doing that, it also ensures that all the baby shrimp in the tank are getting plenty of food as well. So we'll go take another look at the tank and you'll see the baby shrimp food and the bacteria floating all around. As you can see, there's particles everywhere. And what this does is it ensures that there's food everywhere in the tank so that wherever a baby shrimp is, it can find the food. What you don't want is you don't want 
baby shrimp to have to fight with adults over the main food. So the adults will help eat this food, although it's gonna be better to add in some solid food so that they're distracted so that the baby shrimp can find as much food as they need before the adults start finding it again. So to ensure that this works, we're gonna feed some other foods just to bring the adults all together. If you guys like seeing these 480 gallon update videos and a little bit of information as far as keeping shrimp alive and things like that, drop a comment down below and I'll make you a deal. If we reach 500 likes on this video, I'll post another video on the 480 gallon next week. Now this is a pretty high flow area in the tank. That's why the substrate's pretty disturbed. And you could just see all the adult shrimp coming out looking for the food and wondering where it is. Now they're used to being fed pellets, so we're gonna go ahead and give them some pellets to see uh, how quickly they attack it even after just getting fed Bacter AE and uh, Shrimp Baby. So we just got done feeding Bacter AE and Shrimp Baby. There's still plenty of Bacter AE on the surface. There's tons of baby food floating around the water column. And again, those are two methods you could do. These both will drastically increase your baby shrimp survival rate. But with all foods, make sure you're not overfeeding. So start really small and gauge how much your shrimp are eating. To give the adults a little extra food and make sure that they're not eating all of the baby shrimp food, we are going to feed them shrimp dinner and also mineral junkie. These are gonna ensure that all the shrimp are getting the proper nutritional value that they need. And we're gonna see just how hungry they really are. Now the cool thing about shrimp dinner is they used to come in huge pellet forms and it just wasn't ideal for feeding. They've since rotated to a little form that is easy to break and can be broken into three sections for proper feeding. So we're gonna feed a couple pellets and see if they like this food. Now since we still have one more type of food to go, we're only gonna feed four pads today and then we're gonna add in some mineral junkie just to give them a little extra boost. Now mineral junkie is a really good food. It's one that actually falls apart pretty easy. So you're really not gonna have a big shrimp coming in and dominating the food. They're gonna grab a little piece, move on, and then the next, the next shrimp can come in and grab a little piece and so on and so forth. That's a good way to decrease food aggression and make sure that your shrimp aren't gonna fight or accidentally kill a baby shrimp or anything like that. And this is also gonna ensure that they're getting the proper nutrition that they need. We're actually only gonna feed six pellets today of the mineral junkie just because we fed so much already. Now it's only been a minute or two since we fed and already in a mono shrimp, a huge mono shrimp came by, stole the food and kind of ran off with it. So all the other ones are currently fighting over it as you can see, and they're all trying to get a little piece. This is why it's so important to reduce food aggression because there's no way a baby shrimp can get in there safe. Um, there's a chance that if they did get in there, they might get ripped up just on accident. And so this is the main reason that baby food and bacteria AE is so important for ensuring that baby shrimp get their food. As you can see, there's a whole lot less aggression when it comes to the mineral junkie, just because it's flaking apart so easy. Um, if you look really close, you can actually see little clouds coming off of it where they're pulling food off. And there's a lot less aggression. You actually see up here, there's some baby shrimp actually feeding on it, which is a really good sign that this is a good food for baby shrimp as well. Um, there's no aggression up here, whereas the, the shrimp dinner, there's no way that they're gonna get any of that. That's why feeding the baby shrimp is so important. Now you can start to see all the little flakes coming off and flying around into the water column. And that's the little pieces just flaking apart so that the baby shrimp and other shrimp can actually get in there and get some of it. And we actually have some really nice shrimp coming up to eat right now. On the left hand side of the screen, you can see a really nice blue bolt. And uh, there's just some phenomenal shrimp in here and just absolutely a ton and ton of babies. Here's yet another example of how shrimp just grab the food and carry on. These are way at the back of the tank. I really can't get a good shot on because it's so far away. But they just grabbed the shrimp, uh, shrimp dinner and just took off with it. So a mono shrimp are notorious for that. They really don't disturb the other shrimp. They just eat the algae like they should. But they do whenever it comes to feeding. They grab the food, go wherever they want. With the mineral junkie, they're just not able to do that. It's uh, It falls apart too easy and they're just content just staying right where we put it. So if we look back down at the mineral junkie, you'll notice that the balls barely move. We're back at the original spot where we placed the mineral junkie and you can see the pearls are still there and no one's really taken off with them. Everyone's pretty content eating what they're eating and it's all good. And this just shows you how much food these guys can eat and how many shrimp are truly in here because we fed Bacteria E, Shrimp Baby, Shrimp Dinner, and now Mineral Junkie, 
and these guys are still eating like they've never eaten before. We are at the complete opposite side of the tank. This is about two or three feet away from where we fed. And this is how you know what you're doing is working because here's a bunch of baby shrimp not going over to the hard food. They're searching around for the powdered food and that's how you know these guys are gonna grow and thrive and survive because they're not having to compete for adults. So there are literally thousands of babies in here. They're all over the place from the size of a juvenile all the way down to a very, very, very small baby about the size of an ant or smaller. They're shrimp of all sizes and they are just growing and thriving in mass numbers. Just in case you've never seen a baby shrimp before, they are about the size of a BB. And so that's what this gravel is, about the size of a BB, about three millimeters or smaller. And there's a the baby shrimp next to it. It's been about 15 minutes since we fed and there's still bacteria e on the surface. Again, this is not a problem for us because it'll eventually make its way down to the sump. Now, if we had an air bubbler or an air stone in here or something like that that had tons of surface agitation, it would clear this up a lot quicker. And so for anyone that uses a matten filter or different things like that, putting on the surface is still an okay option, although it's always best to pre-mix it in water to ensure that it gets evenly distributed throughout the tank. Even though algae on the glass or the acrylic is not appealing, it's always very nice to leave it for the simple reason that baby shrimp will also feed off of the algae on the glass. So as you can see here, we've already fed, there's tons of food in this tank, but there's still a ton of babies on the side of the tank feeding off the algae and just using it as a natural food source. So leave as much algae in the tank as you feel comfortable leaving, just keep the front glass clean. Another favor for us is moss. Any type of moss growing in your aquarium is only going to help your baby shrimp survive. It's only gonna increase their survival rate. There's tons of places for them to hide in there. It's a good source for microorganisms and also for just food particles floating through the water to get stuck in there. And so it creates really good feeding places for the shrimp and it's just a great thing to have in your tank. It's very appealing on the eye and luckily ours is doing phenomenal in this 480 gallon tank. It's been about 10 minutes since we fed and you can see the mineral junkie is a huge hit. The shrimp are going crazy for it. They're still swarming to it and they're just going crazy over it. So it's a great food, I highly recommend it. All the Glass Gardener products I think are phenomenal. They do a really great job in Germany manufacturing quality products from Bacteria E to Beta Glucan, which is now called Shrimp Fit, uh, to Shrimp Dinner and Shrimp Baby, Mineral Junkie. All the products are really, really phenomenal quality products. And if you guys are interested, Flip Aquatics does carry them all. We have the lowest prices in the industry, so definitely feel free to check out the link below. If you find a cheaper price online, let us know and we'll match it. We want you guys to try this food and experience the success that we've experienced. I just want to wish all my subscribers and everyone watching a happy Memorial Day weekend. Thank you for all the veterans out there, for all the people that are active service. We really appreciate all that you're doing for this country, and a big shout out to to all the families that have lost someone that sacrificed their life to have the, the country that we have today, to have the freedoms that we have. So thank you to all the fallen heroes. Thank you to all the, the military men out there today serving and retired. We appreciate you. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make it a great weekend, and I'll talk with you guys soon. God bless.